Listen, I, I can explain what I'm doing with Teresa. You don't need to explain anything to me. I already know the whole sordid story. God, good God, where are the others? They are on their way. And you are lucky that I was able to sidetrack them and convince the maid to give me a key to get in here. But they'll be here any minute, Julian. And they're looking for you. They want to see for themselves whether or not you've been fooling around with Teresa. What? Fooling around? She's my wife. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is that what you're planning on telling them? Because trust me, from the looks of Luis, Ethan, and Mrs. Hotchkiss, I don't think it's going to go over very well. In fact, I think the three of them are going to kill you. Teresa. Julian, what have you done to her? What? Nothing, I swear. I've been trying to wake her up, but every time I get close, she goes right out again. You, 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 you've got to help me find a way out of here before they catch me. Don't even look at me. I sent the others on a wild goose chase just so I could come back here and warn you. I'm not helping you anymore. I, I appreciate everything you've done, and, and when this is all over, I'll send you a nice fat check. I do not want a check. I don't want anything. I did not do this for you. I did this for Teresa and Ethan. It would kill Ethan to find out that Teresa married you. Even if she was blind drunk when she did it. More likely he'd kill me. If I were you, I would get out of here, Mr. Crane, right now. I'm gone. I was never here. You sure Teresa's room is down here? That's 249. It should be the next one. Well, let me do the honor. God, it's the lynch mob. Meet first, Rebecca. Teresa, it's Ethan. Open the door. Look, Julian, if you're in there with her, you better start saying your prayers. Something doing my bit again when I get my hands on him. What am I going to do? I'm so certain that Ethan and Louise died at sea. Well, it looks to me like the only one who's going to die tonight is you, Miss Crane. If you don't open this door right now, we're going to break it down. going to rip me apart one appendage at a time. Look, we're not fooling around. Open this door before we break it down. All right, fine. I will help you again. But I'm only doing this for Teresa's sake, not yours. Oh, God bless you, my oh, child. Oh, oh. This way, come on. Oh, the balcony, of course. The, the mob has me so shaken, I wasn't thinking straight. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. He's not leaving us any choice. Move back. Wait, you're not, Julian. You're about to have some company. God, why me? I mean, what did I ever d do to deserve such a rude and undignified end? Now, what do you know? You're too young to understand. I was just beginning to enjoy life, and now it's over. Oh. Are you guys ready? On the count of three? Yeah. One. Two, three! Oh no. Oh my god. Teresa. 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 Is she dead? I think she's been drugged. Damn, Julian. So, what's going on? Whitney, where have you been? I was looking for you guys. What happened to Teresa? Uh, her pupils are dilated and her breathing is shallow. She's obviously been given something to make her pass out. When I find him, I'm gonna kill him. So there'll be anything left when I'm through with him. Choked. Damn it. It's jammed. Which means there's no way he could have gotten out. That means he's still in here. Julian, you can run, but you can't hide. We're gonna get you. Come on, Gwen. He's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe the door jammed after he got out. Well, even if he escaped, he couldn't have gone too far. Let me 